Yes, sir. This is the first time in the uh, the history of the military working dog section here at Hanscom Air Force Base that we've done any uh, helicopter immersion training. The 66 Security Forces Squadron's military working dog section teamed up with the Massachusetts Army National Guard 3rd Battalion 126 Aviation Regiment to conduct helicopter immersion training. The purpose of this training is to get the dogs as well as the dog teams acclimated to uh, what type of environment they're going to be facing in case they're ever uh, put in a position where they need to be either uh, evac out or evac in or medevac in, uh, to actually in a helicopter. The teams practice loading and unloading procedures while maintaining control of their dogs while the Black Hawk was at a standstill. The helicopters then started up and the teams ran through the procedures again. Chief Warrant Officer Thaddeus Euchner, one of the Black Hawk pilots, talks about the crew's mission in helping with this training. Work with them so they get the dogs familiarized with the aircraft and the noises associated with being on an aircraft. But in the future, if they need to be in inside an airframe, such as a Black Hawk or a Chinook or whatever, that they would be able to uh, predict what their dogs will do as they board and depark the aircraft. Uh, our unit gets used to working with uh, more moving cargo that doesn't understand language. Um, the, the dog's going to act how they're going to act. They might be scared, they might be afraid, and just gets us used to working with those animals. And The Black Hawk crews then took the dogs and their handlers on a short flight to get them used to being in a moving helicopter. Two of the six dogs that participated in the training had prior deployment and helicopter operation exposure in the past. I was very comfortable. He was very comfortable because he's done it about three or four years ago with a previous handler, so he was more probably more comfortable than I was. As the only active duty base in New England, the military working dog teams are often called to support Defense Department missions as well as other government agencies in the Northeast. This is Rick Barry, Hanscom Air Force Base, Massachusetts.